I was wondering if we should go ahead and do this Zimmer. me to introduce one of my favorite uh, Thunderbirds. This is a 1956 uh, T-Bird Roadster and in my opinion it is one of the finest and lowest mileage 56 T-Birds uh, available. Uh, her name is Jane as in Jane Mansfield but uh, she is finished in gorgeous peacock blue with peacock blue and white interior, a beautiful white porthole hardtop which we'll have a look at in just a moment and a white soft top. Sam please admire the beautiful uh, interior cabin on this. Um, uh, it has uh, the sure swift um, um, uh, the master guide power steering, the astral dial full instrumentation panel, there's actually a dome covering the uh, 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 the odometer and uh, which gives it additional lighting, uh, full instrumentation. The original clock uh, is in off. It does have an AM uh, FM cassette sound system but the original radio is in the uh, trunk and the dash has not been altered. Uh, it has a factory tachometer, directional signals, the Magic Air Heating and Defrost System. Uh, the cigar lighter is unused. Has a fully disappearing beautiful white soft top. Chrome wide side view mirror, wing windows. Uh, and um, it is truly one of the finest and the very best in my opinion. Uh, I really do love this car. Uh, the only thing I'm aware that it needs is a good home. Sam, look at the sill plates. So Norm, um, eighteen thousand miles. Yes. Wow. Original miles. Original miles, and the portfolio that I have, including some maintenance records and owner records, shows that the uh, the second owner owned this car uh, since the '80s. So it has been in careful stewardship from day one. Well, it is stunning. It looks brand new. It's beautiful. Sam, the panel fit and finish on this car is absolutely incredible. It does not look like our grandmother's washboard. It's as straight as an arrow. It does have the, uh, the opening uh, free flow air vents on the side which allowed for additional cooling on a warmer day. A complete set of wide white wall uh, radial tires. The full disc Ford scripted wheel covers. Uh, rear fender skirts with the fender shields. It does have a set of uh, uh, a set of seat belts. I also had a film uh, oh, set on the rear uh, hatch here which um, whenever the hard top or the soft top are up it will help to ensure that there's no imprint on the paint. It's completely transparent. Yeah, it's, I think that's a, is that a 3M product? I, I believe so. Yeah, I actually. It was very pricey, I, I, as in $400. Well, I put that on my old Corvette and it did the same thing. It, Sam, the styling on the 56 made it uh, a very, very special and unique uh, motor car at the time. It is the only year the Thunderbird was offered with a factory uh, Continental kit which really adds to the beauty of the entire car. Other small accents are the rear exhaust ports which actually come out through sculpted into the rear fenders. Now that's a 56 only right? 56 only that's and, correct. And the fin is straight up as opposed to the 57 which is tilted. Exactly. There is a um, a 1956 uh, owner's manual and uh, it, again you can see how beautiful the cabin is on it. Look at how nice 
how beautiful the padded dashboard is on its side. It sand. looks perfect, and typically you're going to get a little bit of shrinkage or, or yes, a crack or two. Yes, warping, and, um, but as you can see, there's none of that, so it has not been exposed to the elements. And the, the, the quality of that spun aluminum trim on the dashboard is, is perfect. Yes. Even the, uh, the sun visors are, are, are padded and are light. Oh, wow, and you know what? Those usually get kind of crunchy from the sun. Yes, they do. You've got a good memory. But look at the, um, uh, uh, the inner fender, uh, the door jams on it, how beautiful they are. And, and again, the uh, step plates coming in like brand new. Well, they are. Only 18,000 miles, it is pretty much brand new. As you can, that's the original windshield. And if it looks like there's not a wipe or scratch or mark on that windshield, it's likely because it has never been driven in the rain. You can see the original rubber molding around the windshield, Sam, which is again evidence of the uh, very, very uh, exceptionally low mileage of the car. Well, you can tell, especially with any of the rubbers, if, if, it, if it's clean, it's been taken care of. It's been in a garage and not sitting outside for, for the sun to dry all that stuff out. It looks fantastic. We're now opening the rear trunk and <coughs> sliding back the um, the Continental kit, which is done very easily, and it gives access to the uh, gas door, so the T bird can be filled from either side of the gas pump, which was way ahead of its time back in 1956. Well, that's a great point. Never didn't realize that. Now. It, now 56 if 57 is it on the side or is it it is okay oh my goodness how's that for a trunk compartment sam wow look at how beautiful that trunk is with the uh with a beautiful black rubber trunk mat sam the engine compartment as you can see has been uh, detailed to a show quality level. It is absolutely drop dead gorgeous. And it does have the, uh, the highly desirable uh, chrome engine dress up kit, which includes the air cleaner and the valve covers and, and other components. Look at the firewall on it. it. You could lick that firewall, it Sam. It is perfect. You can tell. I mean, it's not bit driven in any weather ever. I mean, there's no dirt underneath this thing everywhere, anywhere. It does have the highly desirable Optima 12-volt uh, battery. Another major enhancement uh, is that it came from the factory as a 12-volt with a 12-volt electrical system, but the original generator has been updated to an alternator. Why? Because that enhances the, uh, the output of the electrical system, especially with night driving. But Sam, you could lick any component. Well, one thing that we, we talked about earlier, you, you, there's a little bit of patina on that, so you can tell that it's an original. I mean, yes. just a little bit, and it's, but it's still shiny as, as all get out. So the alternator, and you mentioned night driving, so that will aid in, in headlight brightness. Right? That's exactly right. Very significant uh, and desirable enhancement. Anytime I've taken it to local shows and everyone's always been anxious to see what it looks like underneath the hood, when I lift up the hood, it gets all of the oohs and ahs. And it does have the, uh, the highly desirable 312-inch uh, cubic inch displacement, which was the Thunderbird Special V8 engine with 225 horses, 9 to 1 compression ratio, uh, and uh, free flow oil filter. I also failed to mention inside there's a set of T-Bird scripted floor mats. I do like it that uh, this 56 model has that, that air opening is functional. Yes, it's not just cosmetic. You're absolutely right.
this is a, uh, a shot of the beautiful um, white porthole hardtop. Very desirable option. So the 56 uh, does have two tops, both the hardtop and the soft top. So 55 baby bird, no porthole. And 56 and 57 both had a porthole. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, the hardtop option is really great. And this one, it, it, look, it doesn't look like it's ever been used. Sam, I've owned and admired a number of these baby birds over the years, and this has truly been one of my favorites. There's just no substitute to an original low mileage, 18,000 mile. Well, Norm, I gotta say, in this color especially, oh. it's so rare. I mean, oh. it's beautiful. Ah, oh. it, um, it, and it, as great as it looks, it's just an absolute pleasure to drive. It is just so nice and tight. There's no play in the steering and no pull in the braking. And the front end is nice and tight. Uh, the transmission shifts nice and crisp, just as you would expect an 18,000 mile car to do. And I just noticed when I got in the, the brake pedal on it shows a wear of an 18,000 mile brake pedal. Just love this car. Have you have you driven through Roswell yet? Uh, I have, <laughs> and That's uh, the best. yeah, it, it's gotten all the oohs and alls and all of the thumbs up, and um, uh, it, it's a Roswell favorite. Well, for our audience here, Roswell is a, a beautiful little old town from Civil War era town that um, beautiful bars and outdoor restaurants that. You go there to be seen and, and drive something cool, and it, it really works well. Yes. Thanks for uh, that history background. Uh, there's not a rattle in this car no. anywhere. Um, no, and typically uh, a car with, with the Continental kit, you're going to get a little rattling. Yes. They, they just do. This yes. one does not. It is nice and quiet. You can't hear it run. No, no. And I really love the, the non-rattle factor. I mean, it, it's so obvious, especially with this Continental kit. The, the motor is barely broken in, uh, 18,000 miles. I've known you for a long time, and this is the first baby bird. You've owned a bunch of them. This is the first baby bird in, is it peacock blue? Yes. I, that I've ever seen. I mean, right. In person, and it's stunning. Rarest Absolutely. of all the colors, and um, it, um, you know, when I just saw it, I knew I was in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> oh, isn't that the way? And the pictures of the undercarriage show how beautiful the undercarriage is. No undercoating, and it does have a uh, recent stainless steel lifetime exhaust, dual exhaust system running from front to back. It has a very tasteful rumble. It doesn't. It's not loud. It's yes. not too soft. It's really nice. Very comfortable. You're absolutely right. 